Yo, what's up, guys? Back at it again with part two. Former conservatives versus former liberals on Jubilee Middle Ground. And please, guys, like the freaking video. God damn it, man. Who am I talking to? If you're for free speech, this is the channel for you. If you are anti woke this is for you, okay? If you believe that this country needs a change, this is for you. Come on, help brother out. Like the freaking video, man. We stopped that. Do you believe that President Trump is going to win the 2024 election? And I said, hell yeah. But not if they cheat again. But you tell me what you believe. Do you believe that the election was rigged? Because you got some conservatives who don't believe that anything was rigged. They don't believe that the government will lie to you. They believe that sleepy, creepy Joe won. Who knows, man? So we're going to get into the video. Let's go. Like, I came around to liking him, unfortunately, after his presidency, because I saw what we got next. And so now at this point, I'm, I'm totally, I'm, I'm, I'm voting for Trump in the primary, in the general, um, God willing. Um, yeah, but, like, uh, my life was way better then. My life was way better. I could better. afford things. I'm concerned that he's going to win as well. And I don't think it's because he's the greatest president we've ever had. Yeah. I think it's because the Democrats have a branding problem. Um, and I think Trump is a brilliant marketer, and I think he's a brilliant con man, and I think he's done a fabulous job making the case to the people who love him that he's going to do what they- Hey, man. I'm watching what you say, man. You you, get, you ain't getting away with that. He's a great con man. Watch your mouth, man. Watch your mouth when you talk about Trump, man. If I box your mouth. I ain't going to hit you, man. I'm just talking shit want him to do even though he doesn't so i think he definitely can win i think they're both wildly unpopular both him and biden totally <laughs> um i think that there's not a lot of great options i think the vast majority of people voting want another option and i do think that his base has more enthusiasm than the democratic base does i think it's funny you say that because i think that about the right i think we have the worst branding issue in the world. I think the right is so tacky. The Republican and Party does. Trump does. Yeah. <laughs> I, no, like, I think the Republican Party marketer. is just so tacky, 20 years behind. But it's funny because I'm watching far left people come onto like my side now and I'm like, it's starting to shake things up. But it's funny because I think if there was another option between him and the current vegetable. You're right, man. Look at me. We wavy out here, man. You got to do from South Central to hood out here voting for Trump. We part of the Republican Party. We trying, we trying to change things, man. It's not the old white party that these people confuse you with by saying, hey, man, this is it's all white people. All right? It's only for old, rich, white people. When Democrats are actually old, rich, white people. Right. The Republican Party is starting to look different now. We're starting to be amplified. Make America great again. Oh, and I'm a part of it. And if you want to get wavy, man, like the fucking video. And I can't stretch it enough because, damn, I don't do this shit for nothing, guys. Have, and also, Kamal is so unpopular. Like, you just have double trouble with yeah, that. Hills of Harris. They're, 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 not, they're not putting up a viable option. No. I think the, RFK, I, I thought, was amazing. I think the amazing. worst <laughs> thing that the Democrats did for themselves was, like, push RFK out yeah. of that primary Who process. Who I love, by the way. I, I like him, too. And now he's running as an independent. I'd like to start off. Um, I really do hope Trump wins. I think it's for the best interest of America that he does. Unfortunately, I do fully believe that the Democratic Party is a bunch of political terrorists, and I do believe that they will do whatever they can to steal the election. You know, it's a hot take, but from the last election with the ballots, I really don't think they're going to make when it Trump, easy. Trump like, called and said to find yeah. fake ballots? I mean, there's a longer call that you could listen to that debunks everything. I mean, it, he's not going to end up in jail. Those, yeah. All of that is just, you know, a hit job, but I do. Just like Russia, Russia, Russia. Nobody's talking about that anymore. Nobody's talking about how the government lied, lied about Russiagate and, and spied on Trump's campaign and got nothing out of it. It was a big nothing burger. But forget that. This time they got it right. He's a con man. He's been exonerated so many times. When they gonna stop? When they gonna say, you know what? We fucked up. When they gonna tell the truth? When they gonna apologize for it? You're not getting an apology from terrorists. Okay, political terrorists. In my opinion, you may think what you want to think, but I think that they're terrorists and they're selling this country out and they're not playing fair. It's one party that's doing the action and the other party is just playing along with it. Nobody's speaking out against this this problem. There was a bunch of discrepancies when it came to the 2020 election. I'm not saying that they cheated. I'm just saying that, what the fuck was that? How are they allowed to get away with things that they shouldn't have never got away with? And I'm not being biased, okay? I'm just saying that if Trump did it, that's out. If anybody did it, that's out. Because many people have died on American soil for the right to vote. If you destroy the voting process and, the, and, and destroy the validity of voting, you are spitting on the graves of Americans. And we have a right to question elections. And if you're trying to take that away from us, what does that make you? Even if you're a liberal, you should be for that. You should be for the investigations of any election. Because if you're a very fair individual, you will want people to get the justice that they deserve, okay, that they see. And that goes for a forensic audit. 
recount if possible. Forensic got it. That's what we wanted. That's all we wanted. Okay. Stop playing. They don't bring that up. It's just we we did a recount. We didn't want a recount. We didn't want no recount. We wanted forensic got it very specific. You said no. Why? Why? That causes conflict between the two. And they did that on purpose. Okay, they did that on purpose. And you don't care enough, okay? What, to the average liberal, you don't care enough anyway. You just hate Trump, so whatever he gets, he gets. But I promise you, when it happens to you, for the person that you like and you went out and voted for, what would you say? There's a 50-50 chance when a coin tosses. So watch how you treat your fellow Americans because one day you're going to need us probably to back you in your decision. And we're going to say, I don't want to hear it. Ah, it's conspiracy, bull crap, uh, uh, recount. No, we want to forensic got it. Recount. Shush. Be quiet. You lost. Give up. You lost. I think the Democratic Party would rather die than have him in power. And I think they could do that because people aren't aware about the ballot fraud that's going on. Uh, a quick, just quick on that, on the voter fraud comments that you made, like what about yesterday, Sidney Powell just pled guilty to six counts of the conspiracy in Georgia against the election there. So there, that's actual fraud that was committed on the right side for Trump. The, there's what I hate about the left is that they always use any and everything to discredit what you're saying. Well, look, look what happened with Cindy Powell. But I saw what I saw. Yeah, but you, do you believe what she... She's on your side. Look what happened to her. I don't give a crap about what I saw. Average, everyday Americans came and spoke about what they saw and what happened. There were no remedy to what just happened. All right? You telling me all these people lying just for one person and not everybody was a fucking Republican. There were a lot of things that happened, but they always trying to push that. Well, look, look what Tucker Carlson said. He didn't believe that Trump was selling. I don't give a crap what Chuck Tucker Carlson said. I, I don't follow him. Okay? I like him. He's cool. But I don't believe everything Tucker Carlson says. His, his word isn't law. Jesus is. His. Look at Fox News. They got sued from Dominion. I don't give a shit. That don't mean that it's not. That doesn't mean that they didn't do what we thought they did. Where's the machines? Where's the forensic audits? Where are these ballots? Where are they at? Don't talk about it. Shut up. Why were we being censored? Because everybody's conspiracy theorist. That's what it is. Everybody is a conspiracy theorist. So you're telling me the average American who testified under oath that they seen some discrepancies of just conspiracy theorists and put up by the right? It has to make sense. On both sides then, but I would say it's uh, much more in the favor of seeing that, you know, during the election count, they pause it and yeah. they, you know, mail in, mail in ballots for was, Joe Biden. I also think we shouldn't well, take guilty pleas at face value because yeah, the yeah. justice system really, really yeah, that would be incentivizes the rest you of the to system, plead which guilty. I don't believe yeah. So I guarantee there's fraud on both sides and, it's oh, all for sure. and I think it's all corrupt. So. Yeah. yeah, I agree. I don't think he's gonna win. Um, I agree with you. I don't trust the last election results, but I actually don't trust any presidential election results since Kennedy. So <laughs> I don't, I, I just think, yeah. I think, I think, um, I am going to vote because screw them. I'm not going to, uh, I'm not going to allow them to instill apathy in me, but I better bring it to them in the ballot. Y'all better get out and vote. Y'all better fight for this country like hell. Don't give up just because you know what happened. You better keep fighting because that's what they want you to do. They want you to give up. They want you to believe that everything is rigged, although it is. But don't give up. Keep fighting. We got some coming, man. We got some coming, and the truth will get exposed. The more you fight, the truth will get exposed, and it's more. It is much harder for them to lie. Don't really put a lot of stock in national elections anymore, and um, I think local is more important. So um, I think that they probably are gonna not give it to a Republican this time around. Religion played a part in changing my beliefs. Join our middle ground Patreon to watch this exclusive prompt. Democrats are more compassionate than Republicans. Fancy meeting you here. I was in a little for someone to say something. <laughs> and you know I hate it. You, you know I don't want to be sitting here. <laughs> I will say, I do think that left tends to be more emotional. I would assume that that would come with feelings of empathy. And I will say, people on the right, I am not actually very popular on the right. Um, as soon as you disagree on certain things, I mean, the death threats, the You're hate. Woke. Yeah, oh, oh, so you're liberal now. And yeah, I'm like, and there are certain things like abortion's a hot topic. Mm -hmm. um, I think it, it's, uh, it's, a little, it's a little crazy and it's a little too far. I would hope that in the future I become a more middle voice in the Republican Party. But I do find in general, like people on the left, I think because you're more emotional, inherently you're gonna care more about people's feelings. 
I'm not really one to care that much. That's why I'm on the other side, you know what I mean? But I'll give you guys that credit. <laughs> I actually agree with what you're saying a lot because they've even done like literal brain scans and they can actually predict people's political beliefs based on their brains up to like 80 to 90% accuracy. Like it's insane. And so I think, well, you're right, that dem <laughs> people on the left do tend to think more so, I think it's with their left side of the brain, um, that has more emotion involvement, which can be both a blessing and a curse, I think, mm -hmm. at times, because politics are also about factual information, and so feelings are obviously not all that matter, um, but yeah, Democrats do tend to be more compassionate at the end of the day. Yeah, and I, when I, I was on the left my whole life, and like I was literally an emo kid. So it's like funny being on this side now, now I kind of like, I'm a lot more analytical about things. Mm -hmm. I try to cut the emotion as honestly a survival tactic at this point. Mm -hmm. I agree with that too. Feelings is the worst way to run a country, okay? Every day people feeling is gonna be hurt due to anything. You can't make a severe political decision for this country based on someone's feelings. And I have a saying, my country is more important than your feelings because feelings could get you hurt. Straight up. And it takes a strong individual to set aside feelings when making a, a tough decision, like going to war, okay? Like praying in the freaking swamp, losing everything and being lied on and being shamed for doing what you're supposed to do. And it seems like the liberals are too emotional. Their, their life is rooted around emotions, okay? This made me feel bad. Therefore, you gotta lose your job and lose everything. <laughs> These emotions are damaging our country and we're not rooted around emotions. This country is rooted around an idea and strong founding fathers put a constitution together rooted around logic and what will work when governing people and making sure government does not get the power that they have now. You could emotionally give up your rights. Because <laughs> for me in my personal journey, it was very close to that. Like my mom used to tell me that. She's like, you have like zero empathy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I feel like as I went through my journey, not just like transitioning in politics, but just like I went through my own kind of self-discovery journey and I feel like empathy really came into play there. And I, as I started to listen to stories from people that had lived experiences, I was like, wow, you know, I really do feel for them and I can put myself in their shoes. And mm -hmm. I, I feel like now I'm even maybe an empath. Like I'm very- I could feel for you but I'm not going to let you destroy my country because of your feelings. Very much. You can totally gain it and you can totally lose it. Yeah. 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 Totally. It's up to you. <laughs> yeah. But I do feel like since that, I feel like, you know, I am so much more compassionate now towards, you know, humanity in general and people. And as I gained empathy, I became more liberal. <laughs> I think Democrats are much more concerned with like social programs that help people who aren't themselves. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I think that they often are the leaders of the civil rights movements of our time. Um, and I think those things and, and leading policy with people first, I think is a bigger priority for them. And it's not to say that Republicans don't have empathy or compassion, I just don't think it necessarily leads their politics. So um, Jonathan Haidt has a great book called The Righteous Mind, which I think everyone on this panel would love it probably. But in that book, he's trying to figure out I think the subtitle is why good people are divided by politics and religion. And he divides morality up into different types of morality. One of those types, the one that liberals and conservatives have in common is the care harm principle. They both care about people. They don't both don't want people to be harmed. But the difference is that they have different definitions of what's gonna harm people and what's caring for people. Mm -hmm. And I thought that was really interesting when I started leaving um, the left. I thought, oh, Republicans don't care about people, that's why they oppose raising the minimum wage. And it wasn't until I started listening to other points of view that I realized, oh, they oppose raising the minimum wage because they think it's going to harm people because you're going to get fewer hours, fewer workers, mm -hmm. people are going to get fired. And so it's not that, it's not that we um, disagree, liberals and conservatives, on the why. Like, we agree on that, why we should, we should care for people. We disagree on the how. Mm -hmm. I agree with that 100%. Um, but not but, but put, <laughs> adding more to that is my uh, way of showing compassion would be to tell someone that pick yourself up by your bootstraps. Like you have more potential and you can do this as opposed to Don't someone that's saying that, okay, the government should step in and you know, support you and do X, Y, Z for you, um, which in the grand scheme of things isn't going to benefit that person. It's I come from that. I come from Section 8 housing. I come from government assistance. They don't want you to get off government assistance because they need you to need them. And once you get off that democratic plantation, they look at you as an enemy, okay? Because they never really try to help, right? Most of the democratic empathy is wolf's 
in sheep clothing because they truly don't care. It's a liberal new world order. Going to teach them that they can rely on a bigger being to to be, you know, their support system. But if you learn how to pull yourself up, I think you can be more equipped to go throughout this world in a successful way. Can't both things be true? I don't feel like liberals are telling people that they need someone to pick them up and that they can't do it for themselves. I think they're saying that there's that there's inequalities in the world and that there's structures in place that put people in a position to where they can't get the life or the things that they want, uh, the things that they deserve, and they, they can do both at the same time. You can pick yourself up and you can accept welfare. But and I think, I think that implying. there's a lot of programs. I don't think he understands that the same people that's telling you that the boot is on your neck is keeping the freaking boot on your neck. It's funny because liberals love ideas. It's an idea. Get over it. It's not, it's not what you think it is. People have benefited from even just be the ability to feed their kids. It doesn't mean that this mom is all of a sudden not gonna not work because she's getting welfare. She's probably already has two or three jobs. Talking from my own experience, I think if I'm being told as- You can't get welfare if you have three freaking jobs. You literally are owned by the government. I grew up on welfare, okay? My mom tried to get a job raising five boys by herself. She couldn't keep it because you can't make a certain amount and get welfare. These people are not educated about certain things because they love ideas. Get educated, ask somebody that went through this program, went through these things and try to elevate in their life. When the government's saying, well, you're gonna owe some back pay. So a lot of them just quit, say, man, shit, I'm just not gonna do it. And that's what my mother did. Not saying that she lazy, but she waited for a very long time until we got older and then got a job and said, F that little money that they're giving me. At the end of the day, they're not trying to help you. They're trying to keep you there. All right, guys, that's the end of the video. I want to do a part three. I have to chop it up because I don't know if you guys like long content. You guys are not liking the freaking video, so I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Like, comment, subscribe. But guess what? Got something special for you guys. I will eat your leftist ass. Yo, that is fucking conservative gold, bro. Fucking like the video, man. South Central, we out.